Now we have an update on that injured dolphin that a lot of people have been thinking about and talking about on social media especially. Yeah. You've probably seen a lot of the photos that show those deep gashes in the dolphin's back. Jeff Patterson is live in Pinellas County with this update for us. And Jeff with a name. What's the name? Yeah, good evening, Rod. The, it turns out the dolphin does have a name. You know, they have some experience dealing with injured dolphin at the Clearwater Marine Aquarium. And this injured dolphin that is swimming somewhere back there in the intercoastal does have a name, and they were tracking it long before it was hit by a boat propeller. Well, you know, from our assessment so far, she seems to be doing well. After photos began surfacing of deep gashes in the back of this dolphin, we went out on a dolphin cruise out of John's Pass and found it for ourselves. NOAA and the Clearwater Marine Aquarium are tracking the dolphin every three days now to monitor its condition. Her body condition overall, she's very robust, um, so we don't think that she's losing any weight. It turns out this is a dolphin they know very well. Her name is Babyface. She's showing um, small signs, but signs of improvement. And, um, you know, ultimately we monitor that by her behavior and um, how she's doing out there. Is she, you know, showing signs of foraging? Uh, how she's swimming overall. Dolphin trackers keep tabs on a number of dolphin in the wild throughout the Bay Area. They've been watching Babyface for about nine years. And the ID team had been following her ever since she was actually born, so they knew her mom. And uh, so they have you know, a very good idea of where her normal travel paths are, what areas does she like, deep water, shallow water, who she hangs out with. As for the deep gashes, experts believe they will heal but the scars will remain. Well, you know, ultimately it will heal over time. Now, clearly it won't fill in. There will always be gashes. And that's the a big concern of everyone's is that this is a very dramatic um, injury. Yeah, the dolphin trackers give, give each animal a name and a number. They base the identification on marks on the dorsal fin. Of course, this one will be a little easier to keep track of now. Let's just hope it continues to improve. Rod and Stacy. All right, Jeff Patterson reporting live for us in Pinellas County tonight. Thank you, sir.